So, now we need to go synchronize our body. Oh! He was right there. Hey guys, before we get into the video today, I just want to say first off, thank you so much for clicking on the video, and that we're also on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So, if you guys are new here or have been around for a while and just aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and joining the Discord, as it is the best way to support my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alrighty guys, Gunshot Mara here with another video, and for you that know, you know where we are, and for you that don't, this is where I originally started the series on Lost Island. So, it's my little, my little thatch hut I built on my little private island. There were plans, but those plans were quickly abandoned and we went back to the island. But, we are back here to finish what we started. We're going to be taming the creatures of the Lost Island. And then we might even be fighting its boss. I don't know. We'll see. And if you guys are wondering what our first creature is going to be here, it's going to be this Amargosaurus. He did just take on some Argentavises, so he is a little beat up. But, <clears throat> since last time I attempted an Amargosaurus tame, I have learned some things. Things that we will use to our advantage, such as traps. I flew too low to the ground trying to put things on my hotbar and the Amogasaurus got mad at me. We're going to take orbit. Alrighty, we're going to land here. We're going to set up the trap right about here. So it's a pretty simple trap. Actually, relatively simple. I mean, a child can put it together. But you're going to place that down. We're going to do a door frame right here. We're going to surround it with walls. would be a surprise if that Amogasaurus actually like rolls up on us. Okay, now that you got those walls placed down, we're going to grab some ramps. We're going to go from the top all the way down. That is perfect. So, then what you're going to want to take is you're going to want to take your ceiling hatch frame, place it there, and then you're going to take what's your left of your walls. You're going to start circulating it like so. Now, from the other side, you want to place down your ramps, not on the top, but only halfway up it. So that way... You can actually kind of get a little kickstart up that. That should also help the Amogasaurus get up this. So, that's actually all I needed. Now I just need my shotgun and my pike. We should be good. Don't need a cryopod just yet, but we'll have one of those ready for when we do. So, now we need to go synchronize our body. <gasps> he was right there. Is he attacking my... Hey. Oh, hi. Come here. I want to try and pull him away from that. Because now he's pissed at it. God damn it. Why are you pissed at my base? The trap! Okay. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. I want to lead him as far away from that trap as I can. He's swapping to... Nope. He's just aggroed on my trap. Wonder if I let's do this at the Kale Fury. I'll land you here. See what we can do. In terms of synchronization, I didn't see anything. <gasps> Des, 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 no! <laughs> gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Oh no. No, get off of him! Why is it doing this? It's making it difficult. Oh, it's attacking me before I've even gotten to it. I need to fly straight up and lose its aggro. A hundred percent. I need to get it out. Oh. Okay, I got out of render distance. I've now come back into render distance. Sue. So, we gotta get this guy. One way or another, we will get him. So we're coming back in. We got our Deodon loaded in the pen. I don't think I told you guys that. But you need a Deodon to be in the pen so that way we can keep him where we can be contained. I need to get Dez in the fucking cryopod. This Amagosaurus is not playing around. 
he immediately targets any sort of carnivore on sight. Argentavis over there, look, it's a dead man. Bad problem is, is that Argentavis is going to draw that Amargosaurus into some big baddies. I can't risk hitting the Amargosaurus. And that Argentavis is legit just locked in on him. There we go. Another one. Another one. There we go. Now what I would like to do is this, my little man. Nice! You're synced up to me! Come on, my man! Run! Follow! We hunt together! <laughs> now technically, I could just go massacre things with my shotgun. Ooh. But I don't want to try and do that. I'd rather try and get him in the, the pen over here. Okay, now I'm going to hit... Is it 7 and 8? Oh! Shoot. I don't get any more. This is going to be dumb. I didn't get any more on my stuff there. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Means I can do this. Let him heal, let him heal. What did that one blast do to your ass? Not much, my man. Okay. Feed the Amargosaurus, so just go up here, feed him. Boom. Okay. We're gonna let our pig of hell here heal up a bit. So, he's taming. She's taming. I guess he did a lot of damage. But he heals up pretty quick, so... You can sit here, let him heal, let him heal. Um, if you had, uh, what is it? They're from Extinction, those one owls... A snow owl, you could heal up the Deodon even faster. Um, that's an option. But we're going to be doing this. So he wants to eat again. So every two shots, we'll hop up here. We'll feed our Amogasaurus. We actually might have to run up this side. I don't think I fed him. There we go. Yep. He wants to hunt with me. So my one concern is our body temperature might be changing. Seven, eight. Uh-oh, that might be a problem, because if that runs out, I feel like he might be able to, I don't know, like, warn off our buff, whatever. We'll, lo we'll lose a uh, synchronization with the Margosaurus, is the problem. And I don't want to lose synchronization with the, or synchronized temperatures, the synchronized temperatures with him, you know? We're still good on this. How are you doing? I would say about 1,300. I'll give you another shotgun blast to the butt. I really don't want to kill you, though. Might wait until you're half health and then give you another blast. We got the time. There we go. See, this is like the simplest way of doing this. Like, he's, almo he's almost halfway. So... Problem is, here in 10 seconds, I'm about to lose my synchronization with him. I'm ready to hit 7. We didn't lose anything! Nice! He's getting ready for another shotgun blast here soon. Um, we can probably reload and then we'll hit him with one. Should be good. Now, preferably, you'd want to get a Deodon with a lot higher health. Um, but either way, these guys are going to heal up rapidly. They're Deodons. I mean, they heal so, 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 so fast. Oh. Am I not synchronized with you? I mean... <gasps> Ooh, hunting with a mark. Alright, we're still hunting. We're still hunting. We're just... Didn't do enough damage, I guess. We might be, like, one blast short. But I don't want to accidentally kill the Deodon. 
I, I keep on doing it 300 so that way I know he still has some health. That way we can do it again and again and again. But it's just a little bit of a concern. There we go. He wants to eat. I have a cinema crops. Why am I doing this so stupidly? There we go. He should be 50% right? Yep. 50%. Okay, we just hit about 70%. What was that? What was that? What hit me? Just a little concerned on what hit me. It just caught me off guard. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. What hit me? Okay, now it's time to figure out if this is a make or break. Will the Sanguine Elixir work on you at 70%? I mean, will it work on a passive team? I thought they do. Oh, they do. That's an Amargosaurus, my people. Welcome. Of all the creatures I'm gonna let you guys listen to it. Family, Amargosaurus Titanicus is likely the most unique in appearance. It sports two parallel rows of dorsal spines down the length of its neck, back, and tail. Though the neck spines are significantly longer than the back or tail spines. These spines are a remarkable adaptation giving Amargosaurus unmatched control of its body temperature. Made even more marvelous by their time on this arc, their spines store both extreme heat and extreme cold, effectively allowing Amargosaurus to live comfortably in any environment. Its sails also make it an abnormally capable swimmer for a sauropod. Unlike most sauropods, Amargosaurus is very prone to violent aggression, attacking most predators and humans on sight. I suspect this behavior developed alongside the dangerous spines it uses as weapons. Once finely tamed, it's no surprise that Amargosaurus's regenerating spines can be put to potent use. If removed early, their thermal storage becomes erratic, which is perfect for catalyzing sap extraction in large trees. Some tribes, inevitably, have adapted this thermal quirk for combat. By coaxing the Amargosaurus to eject a spine before it sheds naturally, the disruptive thermal waves which emanate from the spike can wreak havoc on nearby armor materials. Interestingly, simple armor is barely affected, while armors constructed of more complex attributes are rendered largely useless. Such a strange reaction. But then, little about this particular art seems sensible to me. 